I love working on my own. I think you've got to have to like that to be an artist. Which means maybe a whole week will go by without my seeing anybody except my, my family. But I love it and um, I come in here every day and um, make a lot of mess. <laughs> which is great, isn't it? <laughs> and lots of bird song, lots of birds out there, yes. It was in 2000 that I'd just left Fine Art College and I was producing these incredible paintings of the crucifixion um, and they're called the Phoenix paintings. These paintings were seen by a vicar who asked me to show them in the parish church in Guildford and he suggested that I took them around the cathedrals but that I would need a few more to add to the collection that I only had six at the time and of course they're quite expensive to produce when, when you really have no money coming in at all. So that's when I approached the Christian Arts Trust, very much hoping that I would um, be given a grant to help paint another eight paintings. They um, sent me £800, which did produce another eight paintings. But to have that supported by the Christian Arts Trust um, gave me the confidence to keep going. So it was a really important um, start to my career. <laughs> on our Easter tour. Christian Arts Trust, their contribution to this tour is a significant one, even though financially it's a, it's a small amount, but, but it was a very affirming uh, amount and at the stage where we were uh, looking into funding and looking to piecing together the tour, their contribution really was a, a sort of green light for us to go ahead. Uh, really encourage people to support the work of the Christian Arts Trust quite simply because a project like ours probably wouldn't be at this stage it is without their input. This is, this is the paintings being put up on the walls, all the scaffolding that was needed, <laughs> and the architects and the builders are coming in to, to put these up permanently on the walls. This is a great one here, the um, resurrection going up on the wall. And this image is now being used all over the world for all sorts of books and magazines and wonderful ones of Condoleezza Rice coming in here. It's Cond Condoleezza Rice visiting the cathedral, Jack Straw. That painting there is actually the study of the final painting in Blackburn Cathedral of the crucifixion. I was asked um, to become one of the trustees of the trust. I thought, well, this is wonderful because I can now be part of the um, committee that actually chooses um, who's going to have those grants um, and where we, where we can help. And having been an artist who's been given that help um, and how vitally important that is, it was very exciting to be on the other end saying, yes, this is, this is what I can do to help.
received went towards our latest production which is called The Liberator and um, this focuses completely on the person of Jesus through storytelling, through comedy, through characters. The show is completely made possible really by Christian Arts Trust who supported um, the development of the show which was absolutely essential um, and without their contribution we wouldn't have been able to rehearse which could have been disastrous. Uh, the Christian Arts Trust has helped us develop uh, some of the biblical material that we've used in schools, stories from the Old Testament, parables from the New Testament uh, that we've used that fit in with the RE curriculum in primary schools. One of the stories has been Martha's Secret and this is the cloth from Martha's Secret. We see Martha going from real doubt about Jesus to a real faith about who this, this preacher is until by the end of the story, Martha has a secret that no one else knows about. Until Easter Day, when Jesus rises from the dead and Martha finds with the other woman that the grave is empty and her secret is shown to be true as she has realised that Jesus is, is the life and the way. The, the capital fund of the Trust now is actually diminishing. Um, we're basically running out of money. Um, and this is such important work, and what we're doing. It's, it is unique, there's no, nobody else doing it. If the money were to stop, um, then it means that companies like ourselves, uh, Lacey Theatre Company, Cutting Edge Theatre Company based up in, in Scotland, uh, these companies having a particular Christian ethos, it's very difficult to find funding uh, from secular bodies. There's nothing else in the country like it. And all those years ago when I approached for money, grants, it was the only one I could approach. So without that, I don't think what I've done at Blackburn Cathedral would probably have happened. Now I'm a trustee, I want to give these grants out to um, other projects, and we are the only trust around like this. And I've managed to give something back, um, which is fantastic as an artist, well, to give back to the trust myself to help more projects. But we'd like to help a lot more projects and keep the trust going. And if anybody's watching this who has been touched spiritually by dance or theatre, plays, music, in any context, um, then you know, we, we need your help. It would be really fantastic if more people were to find out about the work of the Christian Arts Trust. So find out more, tell other people about this extraordinary trust, and if you can help us then please do.